Sir, how are you related to Jessica Goodrich? My mother. And, sir, do you know Jason Palmer? Yes. How do you know him? By what affiliation? He's dating my mom. <clears throat> and, sir, have you ever communicated with him? No, just after uh, everything that happened. Okay. I couldn't Did you... hear you. What did you say? What? I'm sorry, sir. Just, I never communicated, communicated with Jason at all until uh, after the events that happened. Okay, and the events, sir, did that include the time frame when they were traveling, that is, your mother and Mr. Palmer in their truck? Did you communicate with him at, during that period? More or less me calling my mom and then <clears throat> him just running his mouth in the background. Okay, and sir, did you ever have a communication with Mr. Palmer by, by a text during uh, that travel? Yes, uh, Facebook Messenger. Okay. Sir, when you received, or did you receive notification of your mother's death? Yes. And was that done by law enforcement officers who traveled up to meet you in Massachusetts? Yes. Okay. And, sir, after hearing of your mother's death, did you attempt to communicate with Mr. Palmer? Yes. Okay. And how did you communicate with him? I, uh, I called him first, and he didn't answer. And I texted him, and then... Uh, the very next morning, he texted back, I believe. Okay. And, sir, did he share with you what had happened to your mother, like her status as far as he knew it? Yeah, he said uh, he dropped her off, Pilot, Wild, Pilot Wildwood, Florida, something like that. Oh, Wild, Wildwood, Florida, at a pilot somewhere in that area, uh, something like that. And uh, I'm going to have to see the, the text to, to recall. Okay, sir, did he mention anything about her coming home? Yeah. Yes. What did he mention? That I got her a ticket. Okay. Did he say on what type of transportation? Uh, train. Okay. And did he make any declarations to you that she was home or she was on her way or anything like that? Yeah, she was home. He told me he was, she was home, and I tried to call her, and her phone, nothing. Sir, did your mother communicate with you during her travels with Mr. Palmer? Yes. In that time frame? Yes. Okay. And what did she share with you? Uh, lots of things from how her health was going and to how bad things started going downhill. Okay, and let's talk about that for a second, sir. Did she speak to you about any interaction between herself and Mr. Palmer? Yes. And what did she share? Uh, that he choked her, I believe. Uh, that's all I can like, really recall right now. Okay. Your Honor, may I approach the witness? You may. Sir, I'm handing you what's been marked as State's Exhibit 60 and 61. Right. I'm going to ask you to take your time, look at those two documents, and when you're done reading them, please let me know. Do they refresh your memory, sir? Yes. 
sir, did your mother share anything with you about being in fear? Yes. And did she say anything directly about that? Yes. And what did she say? Oh, it says right here, uh, I'm, I'm scared for my life. Objection, Judge. Um, and I had not been admitted, so. Thank you, Your Honor. Sustained objection. Are they fair and accurate depictions of the communication between you <coughs> and your mother? Yes. Your Honor, at this time, state moves to enter states exhibit 60 and 61 into evidence. Finished response. No objection, Judge. Other than what was already Previous objection. Subject to your previous objection. Correct, Judge. Okay. Did You're it without a bit of over objection. And you want to make the state publish the same. You may. Thank you. Sir, you can go ahead and read that at this time. She said, uh, I'm scared for my life. And what else does she say, sir? You can read that. She said, uh, they told, he said, he told him, I'm him, that he was calling the cops on me because I scratched his face, so he grabbed my neck and I couldn't breathe, which I will go to a medical examiner, so I had proof that I could not breathe when he grabbed my neck. Thank you, sir. I'll take sir, was that the first time you heard of these difficulties between Mr. Palmer and your mother? No. You heard of them prior to that? Yeah. Okay. Uh, sir, you said you were familiar with Mr. Palmer by your mother's relationship with him as her boyfriend yes. or girlfriend. Uh, sir, are you aware when they first started dating? No. Okay. Did they ever break up during that time of dating? Yes. Okay. And sir, did that breakup happen in the year 2020 initially? If you don't know, it's okay. Yeah, I, I, I can't recall. I just, I know they broke up because uh, I helped Jason, just me and him, move my mom. Okay. All right. And did they get back together? Years later. Okay. A couple years later. And uh, as far as you knew, were they back together when they took that trip from Massachusetts down to Florida? Yes. And sir, after your mother had shared that incident with Mr. Palmer, uh, did Mr. Palmer reach out to you in any type of text message? I can't recall. OK. Your Honor, may I approach the witness? You may. Your Honor, for the purposes of identification, I'm handing the witness, what's been marked as State's Exhibit 62. Please read that, sir, and let me know when you're done. Okay. Sir, are you familiar with that document? Yes. Is it a fair and accurate depiction of what it purports to be? Yes. Your Honor, at this time, the state would move to enter state's exhibit 62 into evidence. 
That's his response. No, no objection, Your, Your Honor. Okay. Okay. Made it without objection. Thank you. And Your Honor, the state requests permission to publish. May. Sir, if you look at your screen, I'm going to place this on the overhead. <clears throat> and, sir, uh, would you tell us who this message is from? What message? Is, is this from Jason Palmer? Yes. Yeah, let's move that microphone right over there in front of you. Yes. And, sir, can you see the date of this message? Yes. And, sir, uh, could you read this into the record? September 30th at 6.36 p.m. Okay, I get that, but I tried to help, and now I'm in a corner. What am I supposed to do? Let her spaz out because I got another girl pregnant while she wasn't even paying her rent. She always had a roof over her head when I was there, but ended up like this and is threatening everything I worked for, like attacking and threatening my future. What is really wrong with her? It is more than being homeless. Do you know what is going on with her head? Okay. And sir, did you respond to that? Yes. And how did you respond? I responded by saying no, but everyone says the same thing. What is your answer? Sir, were you siding with Mr. Palmer at this time? No. Okay. Do you know what Mr. Palmer meant by like attacking me and threatening my future? Do you know what he meant by that? I'll assume CDL could ruin the uh, a future with the girlfriend. And in here it says, but it ends up like this and is threatening everything I worked for. Do you know what he was referring to about threatening everything he worked for? No. Okay. But this was in regard to your mother, correct? Yes. And, his, and her relationship with Mr. Palmer. Yes. Sir, were you formally interviewed by law enforcement in Worcester, Massachusetts? Yes. But it is your testimony, sir, that Mr. Palmer told you your mother was home? Yes. He bought a ticket for her? Yes. And she was on a train or was on a train to get home? Yes. 